What's going on, all you magnificent bastards? Cardock here with a channel update. Now, I haven't done one of these in a little while, and the main reason being that I've been busy and sick and busy again and sick again, and it's just it's been a rough few days for 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 you, buddy Cardock here. Um, uh, there's several topics I want to hit on, and I'll probably link them down in the video so that you can easily find them. But um, first and foremost. I need to, to knock something right out of the fucking water. Um, I had an incident on my stream uh, uh, about a week ago. Yeah, about a week ago. Where somebody came in and decided they wanted to tell me how to run my stream. To be completely and unrelentingly... Wait, unrelentingly? To be completely honest, there are three people on my channel that I will cater to. First of all are my subscribers, people who I've talked to on a regular basis in comments or in uh, the, the the live streams chat or you know wherever may it be. Those are the first people. The second people, people who understand that Hillary Clinton's a fucking criminal. Now, I didn't say liberals, I didn't say, you know, progressives are green for third if you understand that Hillary Clinton's a criminal, you and I are gonna go on great. And the third person the third group that I cater to isn't a group. It's myself. I'm going to run my stream how I fucking want to. End of story. Which is going to kind of bleed into the second topic. So, apparently YouTube has decided that um, they're going to start age-restricting people's videos without telling them. Now, I get it. There are some parents out there who get pissed off when they find out, you know, their 12-year-olds watching Battlefield 1 videos where they're, you know, or, or paint the town red or... A happy room or something like that where they're go it's gore and it's blood and it's guts my parenting opinions are going to be kept out of this I get it some people have certain ways they want the kids raised and the issue is that anyone who is honest when they set up their YouTube channel as far as the age that they are those people that are honest sorry I look like a talking head there we go um, those people who are honest, there's going to be a lot of my videos that you're not going to watch because I play games that have blood and gore, and God forbid if they ever actually start watching my videos and start seeing how I talk. Um, there's multiple ways around it. I'm not going to go into it. It's not my place to help kids get around their parents' wishes. I get it. Sometimes you don't like how your parents do things, and me personally, I don't like how your parents do things either. If they censor parts, if they censor stuff like video games. That, that literally has not just to do with the video games. They censor that kind of thing from you. I'm not in favor of it. However, you're not my child. It's not my position. For all those of y'all who are 18 and older, this doesn't even apply to you, but I know that a, a, a significant portion of my, my subscriber base is under 18, so got to be real with myself. Which is still weird to me, but, you know, whatever. I'm not saying go anywhere. Um... With that being said, there's another thing going on YouTube. It doesn't really affect me because I'm a small channel, but it kind of does because it's going to affect me long run. Um, the way there two, well, there's two things that are happening and they're coinciding with each other. The first thing is that ad revenue is getting pulled off of YouTube because, like, uh, across the board, because of the amount of extremist videos, thanks to the fuck, the fucking ISIS jackasses over across the fucking ocean and their little third world rat hole. Quite frankly, if I lived in a desert and had to shit on the ground, I'd probably, you know, want to piss as many other people off as I can. I'd be miserable my own life, but... Point is, they're putting up extremist uh, videos on YouTube. And because of this, because YouTube apparently isn't doing a good enough job of cracking down on these, which is actually not YouTube's fault, it's the, the, the viewer's... Technically, it's the viewer's fault. I get it. The viewers should not be rep responsible for policing YouTube, but there's a hell of a lot more viewers than there are YouTube employees. So, why the hell not? There's a reason they have that report and flag shit on the videos, and if people come across that shit, they need to do it right a fucking way. If I ever saw something, which, for the most part, I, I doubt I ever will. I mean, my the, the channels that I work through with YouTube and with my social media and with my interests and stuff... Don't, generally speaking, take me to Islamic extremist page. Or any extremist page, for that matter. But, um, anyway, so with that being said, there's big companies are pulling their ad revenue. So you might start seeing weird fucking ads on there. 
I do have control over what ads go through on my videos, so if y'all start seeing, like, really stupid shit, please do tell me. Like, I, I, I'm gonna monetize the videos. It's, it's gonna happen. I, generally speaking, I don't monetize my streams until after they're done, and if it's something where, like this, where I'm just talking to y'all, I don't monetize these, because it's, I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna get paid just to talk to my people. That's just, no. That doesn't make any sense. Um... Now, the second half of this, and this is where I'm talking about it affecting long, longevity, is the way that the algorithm works now, videos are done based on trending, not based on um, what's, if it makes any sense, what's being watched. Like, so me, for instance, say I managed to get my hands on a game that come, that's coming out a day early. I put out a video on it. On the same note, Markiplier gets uh puts out a video or not markiplier pewdiepie me one of the smallest creators him the largest he puts out a video on like civ 5 his video is going to pop up in more searches than mine will now that's going to be because of trending and the problem with trending and i mean it's great you know topics and all that stuff it's wonderful but the the bigger YouTubers are going to benefit from this, while the small content creators, like myself, among others, are not. We're going to get kind of screwed from it. That's why I tell you guys, you know, subscribe, share the videos, like the videos, all that shit, because while the algorithm is no longer based around that, it makes it where my video is going to pop up in more searches, and that's going to bring more people to the channel. That's going to widen the, 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 mag, the, the community of magnificent bastards that watch me as it is. And yes, that is going to become my thing. You're all magnificent bastards to me, so deal with it. That's, that's what I would call you if like I ran into you at a bar. So you should, you should feel happy about yourself. Um, what else, what else? Oh, so uh, moderators. Uh... Stephanie is still my moderator. She's got her things going on sometimes, so she can't always be there to moderate. In times like that, I needed a second moderator, which is, and this was really made evident by that little incident the other day. Um, so if you didn't, if you missed it in one of the streams, uh, Tyler Dar uh, Tyler Darty is now one of the mods. So congrats, Tyler, and I appreciate your help, man. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is the big one. I don't know when, but soon. And not on my channel, unfortunately, but I will put out a, 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 a link on Twitter and on Instagram and on fucking, um, and on, um, on my YouTube channel. I did a collaborative video with another group. Uh, they're, they're collectively known as Stark Drone Gaming. Um, I'll be sure to link them down in the description below. But they're collectively known as Stark Drone Gaming. It's several guys. Some of them are active duty. Some of them are retired. Uh, one of them, I think, was a reservist. And then there's just a couple of random civilians mixed in for good measure. Awesome, awesome, awesome fucking group of guys. Please, for the love of God, go over, check out their videos, subscribe to them. Like, they're, they're, they're a fun fucking group to work with. And as soon as I get my hands on my fucking capture card, I'm going to be doing videos on my side with them. We tried and tried and fucking tried to find a way to record the live chat going on on Xbox One because unfortunately most of them aren't PC gamers, so they don't um, they don't have Discord, they don't have you know access to Skype real easily without doing some dumb shit like with their phone or whatever, and then the audio quality shit. Anyway, we tried so fucking hard to find a way to capture the fucking chat. And the fucking me talking to them, me, them talking to me, and in-game audio, and we just couldn't do it without a capture card. There's no other way that I can find without a capture card. So um, hopefully after the first of the month that'll be happening. But we're we're doing mostly GTA right now. However, I think the um, horizons are about to start expanding, especially if I end up getting um, Ghost Recon Wildlands because. Now, I was expecting this to be just another fucking first-person shooter, and then I actually started watching videos on it, and I'm pretty fucking impressed, actually. It looks like a really cool game, so I might have to actually give it a whirl. Plus, I'd be working with those guys, so it would be instantly more fun. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be a definite collaboration that's going on. Um, I don't know about any others. I'm still open to suggestions from collabor 
collaborative partners. Um, I am going to ask that you try to be a little north of 15 years old. And um, hats. when I started this channel, I'm not trying to shit on anybody. But when I started this channel, when the first video went up, I had the YouTube channel, I had a direct contact email, a Facebook page, a Twitter, and that might have been it. I had my shit together. I was ready if, for whatever fucking reasons, I wasn't expecting it, but I was getting prepared for it. If I made it, if I started rapidly growing, I had I had methods to talk to people and to receive the, the criticism. I mean, at the end of my videos, it still says, and I don't think anybody has liked the page yet, but it still says, contact me at the Facebook page. And no shit, if y'all want to talk to me, that is the best fucking way. If you want to talk one-on-one -on -one with me, that is the best way to do it, because I've got Facebook on my phone. Talking in comments is a pain in the ass, and I suck at responding to emails. But anyway, yeah, if any of if any of my viewers would like to do collaborative stuff, let me know. Um, get in contact with me on my email. I'll also link that below. Um, get in contact with me through email. Hopefully, I'll see it. If I don't, be patient. Like I said, I've got a lot on my plate right now. Um, and we'll see what we can come up with trying to think was there anything else um, 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 um no that's about it um everything's rolling the way it is uh subnautica is still going to be somewhat regularly streamed um i'm actually skipping out actually i'm about to do a live stream here in about an hour um i'm about, i'm going to be skipping out on subnautica for the time being but, uh, I don't know. I might start streaming a little more regularly because I've noticed that I get a lot more interaction and as, as, as fucking cruddy as it sounds, I get more views on the videos when I'm running the live streams. So I might start streaming three times a week. Who knows? It's not a huge production issue for me. I mean, shit, honestly, it's easier than fucking, it's easier than recording and editing. So, you know. Um, Oxygen Not Included is going to be dominating the Sunday stream for the time being. Uh, if it turns out that I feel like I want to play that game more than I will, uh, I'll do episodes to kind of fill the gap. Well, I'll do episodes that will fill the gap between each Sunday, and then each Sunday y'all see what the fruits of my labors have been. Um, also, let me know down below, are y'all interested in the Seven Days to Die series? Because... Um, I've gotten, I've recorded ahead probably like, I don't know, seven episodes worth of gameplay, and I'm thinking I'm only going to do hordes or big, you know, base expansion kind of stuff in the future, but um, either way, whatever it is that y'all would like to see, talk to me, let me know, I am here for y'all. And provided that you're not being a dick and you're not, you know, trying to say, trying to tell my subscribers what to do, I'm going to listen. I want to, I want to build this, I want this to be a channel that's for the community. Granted, I'm not going to do things that y'all want me to do if I don't want to do them. However, if I think it's a cool idea, I'll fucking do it. I mean, shit, some of the games that are on this channel are because of viewer suggestions. So, hey... Anyway, I'm going to stop babbling now. i got to finish setting up for the live stream, get some pizza in me, because pizza. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. And, yeah, please take to the comments. Talk back to me. I want to hear from you guys. I love talking to you guys. I can't stress that enough. But uh, if you're new to the channel, this is the first thing you're seeing. Well, this is a sometimes it's a sometimes, it's, you know, every two weeks. Sometimes it's every month. Sometimes it's once in three months. I, I don't really keep a schedule. It's too fucking stressful. But, yeah. Uh, subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, get go go like poke your friend or or somebody else you know that uses uses YouTube and be like, hey, subscribe to this guy. You ain't even gotta watch his shit. Just subscribe to him. <laughs> um, and I'll uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye bye.